May 11th, St. Francis D. Girolamo. Francis was born in a small village near Naples on December 17th in the year 1642, the eldest of 11 children. After entering the Jesuit order in the year 1666, his greatest desire was to be a missionary in the Indies and Japan. But God destined him to evangelize the kingdom of Naples, a work to which he dedicated himself completely. To assist him, he organized a confraternity of artisans and workmen, the oratory of the mission, who, besides their numerous works to assist the mission priests, would follow the saint every Sunday as he preached through the streets and the squares of Naples. They would leave from the Jesuit church and then process singing as Francis led the way to the sites where people were accustomed to gather. Seeing the pious procession, many persons leading bad lives abandoned what they were doing, often not without anger, for they dared not resist the force and sanctity of the group led by St. Francis, nor that speck of faith that had still remained in their souls. Francis would ascend to an elevated place and speak to the audience. He would start by describing with forceful energy the horrible effects of sin and the punishments awaiting the sinner. When fear had entered the hearts of all, then he would speak of God's mercy. Afterwards, he would tell his audience that he would make penance for both himself and them. Then, kneeling before a cross, tears streaming down his face, he would scourge his shoulders with an iron discipline. No more was needed for the people to follow him, filled with contrition and eager to repent. He was a great devotee of the Virgin, and she would constantly send him sinners she wanted to convert. A famous case is a man who had long been away from the church, whom Our Lady protected because he always showed her respect and greeted her when he passed her images. She appeared to him three times and told him to seek out Francis in order to make a confession. After suffering a painful illness, St. Francis de Girolamo died on May the 11th in the year 1716, singing the Magnificat in thanksgiving for the graces he had received during his lifetime. He was canonized on May the 26th in the year 1839 by Pope Gregory the 16th.